Okay, so if you could first of all just uh, introduce yourself, uh, give me your name and tell me the company or the organization you represent. Well, my name is Milton Nogueira. I'm the executive secretary of the Climate Change Forum of Minas Gerais in Brazil. Okay, and what, uh, what is the project that you're working on? Explain, if you could explain a little about uh, the, the area in which you work. It's about Cerrado. Cerrado is a Brazilian savanna. If you think of the African savanna with elephants and giraffes and put more trees, these are Cerrado. Mm. So it's a forest like savanna but with many more trees. But it is under threat. Okay, and what, what is the threat? What is the damage the and what, what is the threat? The is yeah. one side expansion of agribusiness to produce soya, sugarcane for ethanol and for eucalyptus plantations and for charcoal making, which is unique in Brazil. Okay, and so what can be done? Well, first of all, why is the savanna so important? Well, why do we it's, need savanna? It's a business expansion, agricultural expansion. Cattle raising is a major expansion over Serrad because it's good for the health of the cow. It's dry and it is hot. Mm. As you may know, the Amazon is not good for cows, but Cerrado is mm. because it is dry. So expansion of cattle, charcoal, uh, sugarcane plantation for ethanol and soya beans. Mm. Why is the savanna so important to us? Why is it we, we need to fight to protect it? In the case of Brazil, it? because it is so big. It is as big in territory as the Amazon. It's a big territory. All the tropical countries, you will think of Kenya and part of Congo, all the tropical, Tanzania, all of them have Cerrado. North of Australia, you have this kind of Savannah Cerrado. So it's part of the tropical region of the world. It's so big and where the opportunities are for two things, for food and keeping water in, in Cerrado as well as in most savannas, you have soil, fertile soil, sun, and most of them have water. Everything you need to produce either energy, renewable energy, or food. Okay. Uh, so it's, uh, uh, what are the implications if we lose the savanna, or if, it is, if the savanna is, is compromised, if we lose horrible larger? Horrible implications, yeah. horrible. Yeah. One of them is and the worst of them is migration. People have their lifestyles. They are there for age. They have small farms and a lifestyle. Poor, but not miser. But if you lose this, then they have to move. In the case of Brazil, they move to favelas to have an even worse life with less money and lots of problems. Okay. Uh, and what needs to be done? What, what mechanisms need to be in place to protect the savannah? Well, what we are doing in Brazil in the last 10 years, 8 to 10, ten years, uh, first was in the Amazon to combat the deforestation. It was a success story. Brazil now uh, uh, deforest only one third of what was a few years ago. So we have reduced drastically deforestation in the Amazon. It's still big, but much less than before. And in five to eight years, it will be zero deforestation of illegal deforestation. Yeah. But in Cerrado, we are going to do the same thing. That means put the police, forest police, the rangers, to give support to the mayor so that they can do their own work locally, Local, you know, local is where things happen, for yeah. the good or for the bad. And also to give incentive for sustainable agriculture. What would you like to see uh, achieved, agreed here at the uh, COP16 in Cancun? First is a major accord in general on the conference, in the convention. As part of that, the core of that is the second phase of the Kyoto Protocol. This is a must for the good of the life on the earth. Not only for savannas and Cerrado, but also for everybody. Uh, additionally, one good thing from this conference would be 
the Aquadron Forest. What is the is discussing now is to compensate developing countries for keeping the forest there, not to cut, not to uh, destroy, not to deforest, not to burn. Uh, incentive to keep the forest standing. This is a major quote which comes from Cancun. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much. Thank um, you.